Okay. Oh my God, y'all. So I had to come out here and do this video because <laughs> I just got some news in my um, email that's got me like, I can, I can, I'm, I'm trying to contain my emotions, but it's really not happening. Okay. So <laughs> Dr. Carolyn M. West. Lord Jesus cited my research in um, one of her new publications and I am just like Whoa! I am just done like when I when I first saw the message on my research gate like it'll send you notifications um, of when somebody cites your work and I usually okay I'm not I'm a new scientist and new writer so I don't have many citations so sometimes when people cite me, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go look and see how they, how they cited me and what they said or how they used me in their, use the, my research in their writing or whatever. But most of the time it's other up and coming scholars and, you know, or it's people who I don't really know. And I click on them and read about them or something like that. It's like, okay, cool. But ah, this time, this time I seen that notification come through and I was like, oh, is that the Carolyn West? Oh my God, I was like, uh-uh. Stop, halt, pause the entire day. I gotta go look and see if it's real, okay? Cause I'm like, maybe it's just a accident or something like that. So, it's real. In the, so the book that she, that she and her colleagues, and let me, let me, okay, low key. This is what we're going to do. We, what we're not going to do is erase the other co-authors, okay? Johnny Rice the second is the first author. Carolyn West is West actually the second author. Um, third author is Karma Cotman. And fourth is Greta Gardner. So all three of them wrote this chapter together. The name of the chapter is The Intersectionality of Intimate Partner Violence in the Black Community. And it is in the book, um, The Handbook of Interpersonal Violence Across the Lifespan published by Springer okay so I looked at Johnny Rice profile um, and I believe he's a criminologist but he's like on my level we like new up-and-coming scholars the second off he's the first author okay so usually first author put in the most work on the thing but when I see that Carolyn West what? <gasps> and I know her work from her from her study studies and writings about black women experiencing domestic violence and so i was like oh my god y'all i was so excited that i just had to pause everything that i was doing and i was like ah! Ah! i was like oh my god oh my god so now i'm like okay maxine calm down calm yourself calm yourself down right like chill like it's exciting text your girls i text whitney and lashonda hey y'all I texted her and was like, oh my God, y'all, guess what just happened? And then I was like, okay, cool. It's just subside. Let me go take a bath and relax myself. Y'all, I went and got in the bathtub and I could not even relax in the bathtub. I had to get out of the bathtub, come and record this video. So I just, this is a moment. This is a moment. And I just want to, I just want to capture this moment so that I never forget it um, because I don't know it's just it's it's just important to me it's important to me for so many reasons right now one that a world-renowned international expert on domestic violence in the black community sees me like the fact that she sees me is enough to enough to put and the citation is just and i say i say it's her i mean it couldn't be any one of them other co-authors that put me as a citation definitely but um dr rice is a criminologist so i'm not really sure that he would have came across the the particular work that they cited was um was more of a theory piece um that i just feel like dr west probably came across in her work um but who knows it could have been any of them um but just the fact that just the fact that other scholars of such prominence 
see me and my contribution to advancing the state of the literature and the scholarship on domestic violence in the black community is just so precious to me right now. And it's almost like everything I've been doing is up to this moment. And I never, ever, ever want to forget the gratitude that I am feeling in this moment. Um, a lot of the research that I've done thus far has been um, to a, for the ultimate purpose of stopping domestic violence in the black community. But a lot of that work has been done with um, regard to Latino men. And so this is one of the one of my few publications that centers on um, African Americans and the black experience and its relationship to um, domestic violence and it's my only sole author piece it's the only piece that I've written besides my dissertation that is just me I did it while I was a PhD student it was my very first publication and so it just means so much to me for that particular piece to be the one that international recognized scientists and prolific um, people in my field site and so I just I just had to come out here because I am like oh my gosh I just want to catch this right I feel like it's so often we can achieve stuff and and get to get to certain places in our um, in our career that we just forget these moments and I just never want to forget this okay. moment. I never want to forget this moment. Um, and I also just want to encourage other people to continue, continue in your pursuit of what you feel like is your calling, your purpose, because it's kind of, I've kind of felt like, you know, I'm, I'm doing what the Lord called me to do. I'm doing the Lord's work. Okay. But, and I've, I've gotten recognitions and awards and stuff like that. But every one, every single one counts. And every single, like, every single citation is meaningful to me. And I don't, I never want to get to a place where, God willing, I have, like, thousands of citations and I take for granted every single one. Like, I never want to get to that space. And so this is just one um and that particular piece i think only has like three citations so just i just want to catch this right and i just want to bask in this moment and this is this is also so special to me because today one of my pieces that i submitted got rejected for publication well it's i guess you call it rejected it's they wrote me back and said this piece is not a good fit for our journal. And I'm like, really? Okay. Annoyed. But I'm going to submit it somewhere else. I'm not going to be discouraged. But it just, it's like God knew it came. That little notification in my inbox came right on time. And I just, I just thank the Lord. Okay. I just thank the Lord for everything that he has given me and provided me. And I just am so, so excited. I'm just so excited. And I'm just like grinning from ear to ear because it's Carolyn West. Duh. Duh. Okay. No. Um, so, yeah. And this other, don't get me wrong. Oh my gosh. It's so many other people that if they cited me, I would be like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm just waiting on Trisha Bent Goodley to cite me. That's like my. Like, like, I'm just, there are certain people that, particularly black women, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just waiting on those moments. Yeah. I know they're coming, and it's like, I've been waiting on this moment, but I just, I don't know. It just hits different when it actually comes. Yeah. <laughs> So I know I'm probably at like ten minutes with this video. Hi, Patty. What's how, how many? How many minutes? Look, her as the um the videographer, I would like you to wrap it up. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Oh, this is like them. This is the mo This I like. No, no. 
I can't I can't even get my words together. But this is a moment like when Desmond Patton shared my publication in American Journal of Men's Health. He shared it on his social media. I was like, ah! ah! What is happening right now? What is happening right now? This is like a moment like that. So I just um yes, I just want to encourage y'all, especially no! during the quarantine and in the midst of the daily struggle of black people lord jesus um because lord knows we've been dealing with a pandemic every day since <laughs> forever okay we just been able to somehow persist through it and i just oh especially during these times this moment is just so touching to me and i just want to share my okay, black joy with done. you okay i just want to share this joyous moment and this joyous occasion with all of black Twitter and all of black in the hashtag black in the uh, ivory. Shout out to Sharday Davis and Dr. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot the other lady's name. Put in the comments. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, I just, yes, I just want to share all this joy and no. glory Don't and no. beauty with y'all. So... I'm gonna wrap this video up, but I am so, so, so excited for this moment right now. And um, yes, I think I just realized that my, one of my nervous tics might be and, uh, so that, that is, that is Elijah over there sharing his black boy joy. You give him a little, a little short pan into the camera. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, stay beautiful okay stay true to yourself be encouraged be unapologetically you all day er day st louis stand up yes y'all yes i love y'all shout out I, yes shout out Since you shout out my word. shout out to the my one clothes. and the only delightful underscore dawn my sister um i'm sure she will comment below and put in her information shout out to her always being just available and available to record messages like this but also um also just you know shout out to her for her expression of beautiful black joy on her youtube channel she is definitely an inspiration and that's why i got the phrase and stole the phrase stay unapologetically you um because she always in her videos like that and so check her out but Y'all, no, I just no, had to. No, no, no. Ah! Oh! Oh! Nobody can steal this moment from me right now. Right? Like, nobody can steal this moment from me right now. I'm just going to, like, <laughs> be cheesing at out 10 for the rest of the evening. And, um, yes. Yes. Enjoy the rest of this week, y'all. What a beautiful, beautiful way to start off my week. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I love y'all. Spread the love. Peace.